afternoon fellas hope everybody's having a good Sunday this uh, this project one of the projects for this weekend is way 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 overdue so this box here was my first box I ever bought bought it in 1988 top bottom side cabinet um, bought it because I was in the car audio business for a long time and and it was a great box. It held all my stuff. But the years go on and you accumulate and you buy and you need and we all know how it goes. This drawer um, wasn't originally my socket drawer. I don't even remember which one was. Maybe the one under it. But it's the largest drawer in the box. And it is completely maxed out. It is a full set of three-quarter, half, three-eighths, quarter, um, full sets of impacts, hex torx you name it um it's getting kind of fat and it doesn't have roller slides it's got it's got regular friction slides which that's what they always used to do and now everything's got rollers and great weight capability but um one of the things that i always wanted for this box was they offered a middle drawer single drawer that went between the top and bottom box um fairly large and I always wanted one and I never bought one and time went on and now you can't find them. They don't make them. I've looked. I keep an eye out on Marketplace. I would buy like probably an entire another box like this just to get the center drawer. But I, um, I just I can't find one. I've, I've looked around. I found a couple of images on uh, Google Images searching. No one's got one. They're just, they're just non-existent. I don't think they made a lot of them to begin with. And uh, but I've got to do something. So could I go out and buy a two bay? Sure. Could I go out and buy a three bay? Sure. Um, get into a Harbor Freight box. I wouldn't spend Snap on or Matco money because just not what I'm looking for. Um, and I'm not against the Harbor Freight money, but the shop is pretty maxed out, and I don't want to buy an entire box just for needing really one drawer. Um, so. This weekend's project was basically time to make my own. So basically this was the one of the projects for today. And I, I made a framework out of one inch box, 11 gauge. And that's going to be the framework between the top and bottom box. And like I said, it's made out of all one inch uh, tube. And then I had inch and a half angle iron, which I, I thinned out one side to to one inch and it gives me an inch and a half flat on the inside and picked up some roller slides one for each side so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my own I built the framework and the slides were like 12 bucks at Lowe's um, going to get those done and then this piece of material that's on the bench is a sheet of 14 gauge and I'm going to lay that out and bend it and weld it up and make a drawer that's a dedicated socket drawer. Um, at least maybe for all of my like half inch and three eighths and quarter. Um, and then I'll leave all the impact and the heavier stuff and the three quarter sockets in this drawer. Um, just keep it as like a, you know, a larger tool drawer. But I had to do something. And uh, so this here, I think, is going to be a good fix. It's something I've kind of always wanted. And it's only six inches high. The drawer is going to be about three and a half inches deep. My deepest impact socket's about three inches. So it works out. Doesn't make the box so tall that you need like a step to see in the top of it, which is good. And um, so this is the, the first part of this one. Uh, first, first video on this, first part. So framework got done today and I've got to drill and tap the sides for some machine screws, put the slides in and then I'll start figuring out the drawer and get that made and bent up and welded. And then the only other thing that I'm, I'm trying to kind of keep it looking the same. So the, the framework's going to get painted red, um, probably like just Rust-Oleum rattle can, a darker red because this box is 30 years old and kind of faded um, and then some sort of dark gray for the drawer front and these here handles I don't know exactly 
I could probably copy them if I really wanted to. I'm not going to put the, the detail in it, um, the little bump out, if you can see at the bottom. But probably what I'll do is I'll just put a, I'm probably going to make a, a handle for it out of a piece of three-quarter angle facing down because that's probably pretty close to how wide that aluminum is. And, um, and then I'll just paint it silver. So basically from a distance, it'll look really close and it'll work. I'm not, you know, super worried about it matching a hundred percent. Um, I even thought about just spraying it all black and being done with it, but I'll try to get it close and kind of make it look like it's always been there. So I think it's going to work out really well. Like I said, this is part one. Once I get the, uh, the drawer slides done and the drawer made up, um, I'll probably do a video on that. And then maybe we'll do a video with the GoPro with uh, getting the top box unloaded and moved out and this set in place and, you know, set up and whatever, jockeying some stuff around after it's, it's done and it's painted and all that. So I, I did make this one... Um, a little deeper than this original top box because there was just a little bit of room in the back. I think I've got about an inch and three quarter in the back. So I, I wanted to utilize, basically, if I'm going to build this, all the space I could. So it's 41 and change wide. And I think this top box here was like 16 and a quarter or something like that. And the new, the new socket drawer will be 17 and a half total framework but it gives me these drawer slides are 16 inches and um so i should have a, a pretty good sized drawer for the uh you know fit and all this stuff and of course i'll end up buying some other stuff and putting it in there and it'll end up getting filled and once that's filled that's probably what will push me into like a 72 or or, or an 84 um we need to extend the shop and make some room and I wouldn't be against buying a large box right now if I had the room for it, but I've got to keep some fab space, keep some room, Banshee's in the shop, getting ready to get freshened up. That's been tucked away for about five years and um, we're just maxed out on room. Just, I don't know, you guys seen the videos, stuff everywhere, big compressors getting ready to go back together shortly, waiting on bearings to come in. They were all special order through my guy. So waiting on those parts to come in and this week got some regular work to handle and then we're going to get back into the, the Jimmy and uh, start getting some more metal work done on it. So things are moving along. Things are moving along. Video on this hopper for a sandblast attachment for a pressure washer. That video is out. Banshee video is out. This video is about to be out. And guess who else is out? Huh. Fresh one. And I'm out. <laughs>